Hello everybody and welcome to Pignet. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jesse. Welcome to a series that I'm calling the 13 Copic Doodles of Halloween. Every day until Halloween, I'm going to be uploading a new video with a woodland animal dressed in a Halloween costume. If you've missed previous videos from this series, you can find a link to the playlist in the description box below to catch up. Today is day number 9 and the animal for today is a beaver dressed as a witch. Or a wizard. It was supposed to be a witch. Kinda looks like a wizard. I'm calling it a witch. The weather's dumpy. I got my coffee. I left my coffee in the machine for 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure if I worked at Panera Bread, I would have been in big trouble. Actually, one of the topics I should talk about in the future, maybe not in this series, but like in general, I should tell you guys about my history of my jobs that I've had because fun fact about me, I've literally almost been fired from every single job I've ever had. <laughs> It's just something about me. It's part of the reason why I work for myself, because clearly I can't work for anybody else. It's just a sign. I'm meant to be on my own. Some people had asked me in the comments, read any good books lately, and I gotta tell you guys, no. I've had a problem with books. I, I'd say over the last five years, it's been a struggle. At this point in my life, I have about one chapter's worth of attention span for a new fiction book. Because if it doesn't grab me and like suck me into another dimension within the first couple of chapters, like I'm done. Like I don't feel like bothering. One thing that happens that I've noticed when you become an adult is you really struggle to let yourself just have fun and just turn off everything like and just do something that really makes you happy. At least this is something I struggle with. There's always something that you should be doing. If I'm trying to sit and read a book, I'll be sitting there thinking to myself, I could be doing the dishes right now, I could be doing the laundry, I could be weed whacking outside. It's hard to justify letting yourself sit there and read. And I already struggle with that with video games because I really like playing video games and I miss it. It's been hard, but honestly, I've been reading a lot of nonfiction. That's kind of what I've been into lately. I read a lot of books about money and productivity. I guess one book I could say that I've really enjoyed is Elizabeth Gilbert's Big Magic. If you like books that kind of give you like a oomph to like get going and like, yeah, you got this, like motivational quotes and things. It's a quick read. That was a good one. I also really liked The 4-Hour Workweek. I know that's not really like a new book, but I really like that one. And that one is a big productivity book by Timothy Ferris. As far as fiction, I've been trying to read Outlander. I can't do it. I read the first one and I really liked it. I had no problems getting through it. I read it pretty fast actually, considering if you guys know how big that book is. The second one, I took it out from the library and then I had to renew it because the two weeks was up and then I had to renew it because the two weeks was up and then I had to renew it because the two weeks was up and then I had to take it back because you weren't allowed to have it for more than six weeks at a time and then somebody instantly borrowed it. So then I went and I borrowed the digital copy and then that expired as well and sucked back into the library. I feel like once you let that happen, it's sort of a sign like you're not getting into this book. Like this isn't, this isn't working out. And I feel bad, but honestly, it's getting too complicated. I can't tell what's going on because everybody has like five names. They're talking about things that are going on and I'm like, I'm trying to dumb it down as much as I can, but I just can't. Like I forget what happens so quickly that I'm like, uh, I don't remember why they were going to France right there for a second, but I'm sure that they're going to bring it up later. So. That's kind of been one that I'm like iffy on. I really want to try and finish the series, but I, I'm not even at the tip of the iceberg and it's like getting to be too much for me. Honestly, the last time I read a book that really took me, I feel like, to a different place that I like slammed through, like I read through like Lightning was the Hunger Games series. I read that in like 2011. So that's how long it's been since I've enjoyed a fiction book. I could really use you guys' help. I'm sure that there are many of you out there that are avid readers. I want you to put in the comment section below, tell me about a book that you read so fast because it was so good. You could be sitting in a room full of crowded people and you would forget where you were because you were so into this book. I want to find books like that. List one or two books, tops, in the comment section below if you got a good one. I want to know. Honestly, I will look it up and I wish I could share mine to you, but I really don't have a lot. So yeah, let me know. I, I've shared a couple of books that I like, but I feel bad because I don't really have anything else to share. Okay, I've been talking way too long. I gotta go. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like how this beaver turned out, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you want to color it yourself, you can find free coloring pages on my Facebook page when you search the word pignet. I have free coloring pages for all of the animals so far. I want to thank you guys for all of your kind feedback about my video with Justin. It seemed like you guys really liked us doing the voiceover together. I also want to apologize for the video being so long because I was like, each of these videos is going to be around five minutes long and then I uploaded that one and it was like 13 minutes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
And my topic for discussion, as per request, is my school experience and how I got into art. 